all right guys and welcome back for another dragon ball z dokkan battle video and today i want to do is a how to or team building for the easy a evolved vegeta the agl one here so of course we already know what the weakness is going to be from the data download for both glow and jp i think it was like last week i remember correctly so the weakness for this team or for this event here is Master evolution, so it should be pretty easy, I would say here. So let's go over and see what he does. So far, he does nothing over here. Damage reduction plus 35, 35, 45. I'm not sure if this is gonna be more tough than the uh physical um feature Gohan. <clears throat> the, the, uh, the reason why I say that because uh physical feature Gohan was he had a lot of help. So if they're going to make this guy gain a lot of health, that will be okay because honestly, you know, also it will take a long time for sure too as well. So let's let me go double check with the uh, future Gohan. Let me see if they have the same. I'm pretty sure they have the same or if not, um, then let me go to part two, right? Yeah, part two, yeah, part two. So part two, yep, we got this one. Let me see if they are the same. Because I'm very curious to see if the uh 35 40 they're practically the same but future gohan had had a lot of health so let's see so that's 70 30 like wire. yeah 70 okay ah oh, man i don't know i mean they could make this like a little tougher with, with a lot of health which they could do that so okay uh so the weakness is going to be is we uh is mastered evolution let's, so let's go over and see what teams could you do for the for this event here so so right here we have is the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan here. The uh, if you're on JP, we we got the God Boys. Uh, we have is pretty much you you want to bring is pretty much a full team of pack because of course he's AGL. Um, so let's go over and see what we could do here and what we could build. So first and foremost, of course, if you have is the STR uh, Vegeta, that's great. Definitely use him as the one of the leader skills for the uh, Master Evolution, and definitely he is the leader skill for Pure Saiyans. But at this moment, uh, right now, he is the best leader skill for Pure Saiyans. But once uh, the AGL uh, Evolved Vegeta comes out, uh, he is going to be only be used for the Master Evolution category. Uh, this guy um, definitely is going to take over as the best leader skill for Pure Saiyans until we get a 12% leader skill for Pure Saiyans, which will be not for a while. Yeah, three, uh, at key plus three, at HP attack and defense, 170. That's really great. This is definitely your go-to Pure Saiyan leader skill from now on. Uh, STR, my, my Vegeta, haha, <laughs> no more for you. So, all right. So, of course, we can do that. You can bring is him, uh, and then what we can do is basically bring a full tech extreme team, honestly. So you can bring is the Super Saiyan 2, uh, Vegeta here, who, who, who goes into Majin. You can bring is uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku for power damage. Uh, you can do, you, you can also bring is this guy here, this tech, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, who's fantastic. Uh, he does um, gain attack and defense with 20% for each key to retain, and plus he also stacks attack and defense. So this guy is gonna be fantastic for this, for this category here. Oh, for, sorry, for this event here. Um, you can bring his course is the Easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku because he has a high chance to uh, manipulate the field with Rainbow Key Spears, and of course he'll do a good amount of damage. Um, what else you can bring is if you really want to, you can be a little uh, more wonky. Actually, you can probably support the team here. Uh, this a uh, this tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku is really good. Um, one, because he does change for a uh, rebel key spears to tech key spears. 100% attack and defense, 100% plus additional attack plus uh, attack and defense plus 50% and all allies cat uh, all allies uh, chance of permanent critical hit plus 10% when all allies are attacking or tech type, which is going to be a fantastic for this team. So definitely would use this guy uh, for that event. Uh, if you really want to, you can, you can definitely bring is the trans multi-forming Frieza and of course Golden Frieza. If you uh, want to do a rotation of these two together, these, these are fine. But most, but, but most likely, your running is a full Pure Saiyans team, anyways, because that's going to be like like the best uh, team, anyways. 
So that, that's about it. Um, but if you don't have the SCR Mod Vegeta, sorry, SCR Mod Vegeta, the SCR Super Vegeta, uh, there are some other alternatives that you can run. Is of course is you can run is the trap multi forming um uh, Vegeta here because he is in the Master Evolution. So, so and also he's a 152 pair sands, and of course he can give out keep us three for super class allies or super class pretty much. So have him on the rotation, and if you want to, you can definitely bring the um this ROF Goku. Well, technically this is from the um yeah th this is from the movie I think so yeah from the movie so you can bring this for the attack and defense uh, rice attack and defense. Um, of course, like I said, you could bring us all tech units, uh, and also JP players. You can definitely bring is this guy. This is going to be pretty much a very easy, uh, event. If you have is the God boys, that they're going to be destroying. And also you, you can actually combine, uh, the LR tech God boys with this Goku. That is a really strong, you know, rotation, honestly, because these two one, because he's providing tech key spears and also he, he's giving out all allies 7% for a critical hit and also a uh, plus, plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when and all allies okay that's okay never mind that's not allies but that, that's all for him though but he but he is giving out a support of critical hit for seven percent when all allies are attacking in the same turn which is gonna be very very powerful and I do think they actually uh, share pretty much good links right let me see so super saiyan super saiyan of course uh kamameha kamameha warrior gods warrior gods yeah pretty much uh, Super Godspeed Combat. I don't think they don't have that. But they do ha Oh, they don't have, um, Godly Power. So they have three, actually, four, no, five, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Five links to that, that they can work together. So, uh, Super Saiyan, Glory Gods, yep. Fierce Perfect Battle, Fierce Battle, yep. So they have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five links that this guy could work with this, uh, tech. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goat. Um, and if you could, you, you can you can definitely bring he's, he's AGL, right? Um, definitely you're not gonna bring his, of course, SCR besides these, uh, the leader skill for this guy, but definitely would run the um, the physical Vegeta if you don't want to die in the any longer stages. Um, you could also bring the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks because of the dodging, that's a really nice ability to have in this kit. Uh, many chance of dodge, yeah, many chance of dodging an enemy uh, for seven turns, which is a, a nice uh, effect for the passive. Uh, you, could, you could definitely also bring is this blue Goku from the ROF movie. This guy is really good, um, but he supports the Roma Gods category, um, characters only. So you, ha so, so you have to bring is the like, you know, like this guy for JP. This is guy is on the Roma Gods, so this guy would definitely would help out the um, blue, uh, the God of Boys. And also the, uh, this guy too as well. So, uh, what else they can bring here? Um, uh, definitely you could bring is. Uh, I mean, if you want to for support, you can bring his topo. I mean, that, that's kind of cool and neat. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, also you could bring is the ATL multi-forming Goku as well. Uh, he does have his dam reduction in his passive, which is very nice. Yeah, uh, damage received by 21%, and of course, the higher you get, you gain more damage reduction, which is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah. Oh, 50%, okay. Yeah, this guy is fantastic. Definitely a really good solid option for uh, this event. If you really want to, uh, you could bring is the Tech Khalifa, even though that she's not in the Master um, Evolved category. She, she is, you know, uh, what I'm gonna call it, uh, guaranteed dodge against that Vegeta if you're worried about that. Um, you can also bring is, a, well, Global doesn't have this yet, but you can definitely bring is the Super Saiyan 2 physical Goku, but on the, on the JP side, uh, this guy is fantastic. Definitely once this, you know, once Global drops, so when this guy drops on Global, he is the uh, best unit in the game for sure. Um, I... <laughs> At first, I thought it was Kebu, but now this guy just looking at like, okay, his Super Saiyan 2 form is like really good. Like he has a two, plus 2 attack and defense plus 180 and an additional attack and defense plus 50% when attacking. Also an additional attack that has a mini chance of becoming a super attack, which is pretty fine. Actually. So he can 
triple super and also a high chance to do critical hit. That is fantastic. And also, he can stun on super, which is very, very good to as well. He is he's really good on this uh, Super Saiyan 2 form. But once he goes into Super Saiyan 3, that is going to be, you know, game over. He greatly runs attack and defense, sorry, greatly rises his attack and runs defense for one turn. And then we just, uh, this should have been at least like a high chance. This should have been high chance to stun the enemy. Uh, and of course, he gains P plus three, attack and defense plus 10%, additional 50% when attacking, while well, super attacking. Launches two attacks for each of them has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, which is fantastic. An additional 50% uh, when attacking and a great chance of, of performing a critical hit for six turns from the start of turn, <clears throat> and also a high chance to a critical hit um, started from the seventh turn, which is very, very fantastic. But this guy is definitely a very nutty unit. Uh, definitely, I would say, one of the best units in the game. Uh, and I can't wait for this guy to drop on the global side. But for now, J players, this guy is a fantastic option for for the event here. So other than that, um, that's pretty much it that we can bring for Master Evolution. Um, if you really want to, you can bring the Angel Super Saiyan 2 Goku, if, sorry, Goku, the Angel Super, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, or yeah, Angel, yeah. I mean, you can bring him if you really want to, but I'll say probably just run a full tech team and have like either the SGR Super Vegeta for the leader scale or you can run is if you don't have is this guy at all on JP or global. Uh, the physical multi forming Vegeta is a really good option for the team. And if you don't have that guy, I mean, if you don't have him, which I doubt you guys don't have him because this guy has, a, has been in many, many, many banners. This guy hasn't been in a lot of banners. So I, I hope at least you guys have one copy of this guy. But if you don't have him at all, um, you could use is, of course, the EZA itself here, which is the um, AGL uh, Blue Evolved Vegeta. He does give out HP attack and defense 150 to the Pure Saiyans and attack 130. The, that's the reason why he was pretty bad. I mean, the, he was still pretty good, but, you know, uh, back in the day, you want attack was more important. Now, these days, uh, defense is more and more important as well as HP as well. Uh, but also attack is way, way more important. And also he is, you know, across with and across the board, which is fantastic. So the next easy day that I'm excited for is definitely STR Ultimate Gohan. He's going to be the best support, or sorry, the best leader skill for Hybrid Saiyans. And of course, afterwards, I am excited for a 200% leader skill for Pure Saiyans, sorry, for Hybrid Saiyans, because I want to attack Ultimate Gohan to be supreme. So, all right, guys, I think that that's about it that I can talk about for this event here. So this is a how-to or a team, team building for the event here this is going to be coming out in what in a couple of days right uh, let me check actually let me information and so his event will not drop until wednesday around midnight so going into thursday midnight i would say yeah so thursday morning technically wednesday night for for you know if you're on the um, east coast um technically uh, wednesday night but for you know in central and of course the east coast it's going to be around like at Wednesday, Thursday in the morning. So definitely can't wait for you to use this guy at all. I'm definitely going to be using him as a leader skill for the Pure Saiyans. And if I do pull, uh, the, uh, of course, the new unit, the Intip of Vegeta, I would probably would do a 2% leader skill uh, buff video for this guy because he is being fantastic. I'm definitely going to be running him. And of course, any strange for, strange for a battle road as well as uh, other events that he'll be uh, perform really, really good here. So actually, let me go actually, let's go over and see one more time and see what he does here. So, of course, this skill is the 170 across the board to Pure Stance. Uh, rest attack and defense in one turn, then it costs a mission mission enemy and greatly lowers, greatly lowers defense. My bad, I can't speak right now. Blah, blah. Okay, passive, simulated pride. Attack 150, defense 100. Before, it was 120 and then... 60% for defense. That was back in the day. That was actually, I would say, quote unquote, good. But now, <laughs> these days, if he kept that, you know, passive right now, he'd been way bad. That'd been super bad. But now he gets 100 defense. Plus, no, sorry, launches two attacks, which has a rare chance of becoming a super attack. Before, it was just nothing because that was just, you know, nothing at all. But now he has a rare chance of becoming a super attack, which is what? 
a 15% to do a suplex, which is, you know, that's still better than nothing. Still better than nothing, so. And of course, he, he gains 20% to defense with each attack perform up to 20%. So he gain if you are um, having him, I mean, you're not, hmm, yeah, you're definitely not going to keep him in his base form at all. Well, base blue at all. So, man, that's, you know, I don't know why they kept that, but that's what it's all. But, um, condition from before, it was 30%. Now they bumped that up to 40%. Well, I don't understand why not put it at 50%. That'd be way even better. But now it's 40% from the start of, from the start of the fourth turn of battle, which is pretty good here. So now let's go into his evolved state here. So immense damage to enemy, and then you know, oh shit, let's see. Okay, never mind. My bad. Uh, rest attacking defense for one turn, and then causes immense damage to enemy, and then massively lowers defense. I think this is like the worst, like the worst effect for this guy. This doesn't really mean anything at all. That's like what 80 percent lower defense for three turns, which is I would say this could be useful for extreme rear battle road, but you know, for harder event, this guy is meant to be ran in hard events. Uh, sorry, a long event, my bad, longer event, so it's going to be, you know, kind of like, eh, kind of useless, but at the same time, it's not, but it could be useful for a transfer battle stages, and of course, a passive is 150 to attack and defense, uh, plus additional defense 100% to, uh, sorry, defense plus 100% when performing a attack, so he's going to gain a lot of defense, so 150 plus 100% and then plus 30%. That, oh yeah, 30%. That is a lot of defense. This guy's gonna be, be, be gonna, gonna be fantastic. And then plus an additional launches two attacks, which has a rare chance, which is 15%, and a 10% uh, critical chance for each attack performed up to 30%, which is practically if you build them up or by then, and then long then he'll do a great chance of performing a critical hit, which is a very powerful effect. But the only thing about that is that it's going to take a while for you to uh, build that up. So 10% is actually this is like 50%, right? 10% is like very low. <laughs> Honestly, that, that's low for the, for the first couple of turns. But remember, he is uh, launching two additional attacks. So that's going to be medium chance to perform a critical hit with these two uh, two attacks, which is going to be fine. And of course, so let's it might take like I would say around what? two turns, I'll say max, potentially three turns to be at great chance to perform a critical hit, which is not bad, actually. So he's going to be doing a great amount of damage. And of course, the uh, rare chance to do a back, which is going to be very, very helpful for sure. So definitely, I would say one of the best easiest in the game. Uh, but I, I have to test him out first and see how well he perform under, you know, his new leader, well, this leader scale, as well as potentially if I do pull his Majajita. I want to see him at his full back potential at 20%. So. And of course, if we go into lead, uh, the link skills here, Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Prodigies, uh, Royal Lineage, prepare, prepare for battle, uh, to win a power and a fierce battle, which is going to be like, this is this, this is definitely the best evil blue in the game. Uh, I mean, I could be saying, I mean, I could be capping, but um, <laughs> the LR does not have Super Saiyan, which is so stupid. I don't know why the LR does not have at all but categories are a lot he is he is in a lot of categories but he's in super oh, sorry super Saiyan. he is in uh universal sorry with saga roma gods pure sands full power a uh, universe seven uh t uh tb uh Vegeta's family slimly's bond worthy rivals bond and master and disciple all of struggle miraculous awakening a powerful comeback gift the warriors master evolution and beyond super saiyan which we don't have on the cool side but on jp He's going to be fantastic for that team. So that's a nice buff to the Beyond Super Saiyan. And his defense is going to be really good here. So he's at 13k defense, which is not bad, I'll say. Um, For 18k for the attack and 20k for HP. Uh, I might give him some defense skills, honestly. So he, he'll be bumped up to what around uh close to 14k defense, which is going to be fantastic. So definitely um, on paper. He's looking pretty good. Like he's like, he, like he's looking really, really good, and definitely, I would say, uh, could be the best EZA, best TOR EZA in the game for sure. Um, nobody is close enough to be the best EZA for uh, against uh, the SCR LR Broly, but uh, definitely this guy seems like the best TOR in the game for sure. So, 
right, guys, of course, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.